Previously on Team Brothership. Do you want to spend your whole life as I have done, searching for the secret of immortality when I can give it to you now? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, Crow. I know everything. I know you used the time device to travel back to 1994 and tell your younger self to carry on your twisted genetic experiments using the power of the time crystals. Really? Really? Well, uh, yeah. You've created the Time Splitters, humankind's greatest foe. Huh? You mean humankind's genetic superiors? <laughs> of course. The crystals aren't on the island. They're under it. Come on, Tin Man. Well, hello there. It's me, again. Um... I... It... <laughs> nice. Sorry. <laughs> Interrupting my own intro. Let me try that again. Hello, it's me, Mike, of Team Brothership. I'm back, uh, and this is, this is it, probably. This is going to be the final episode of my Time Splitters Future Perfect Let's Play. Thank you for, for joining me. I hope you've been enjoying yourself in a, uh, in this wacky trip down memory lane. Um, oh, nice. One of them had two guns. Um, uh-oh. This guy's in the way. Um, <clears throat> like, uh, like John was saying when he was on the episode, the episode a few, uh, few weeks back, it's a very nostalgic game for me. Uh, it's one that, uh, John and I and a few of the rest of us played shortly after, um, <laughs> shortly after finishing college. Oh, operate you. Who's shooting? Oh, these people. I don't need to shoot these people. Are my uh, my guy's taking care of it for me. Oh, is it this or that? Probably opens that. Oh, nice. I forgot about that. Um. Look at the size of this base. It must have nice. taken years to construct. Uh, but I'm still probably going to use the the dual wield. <laughs> so yeah, this is it's a very nostalgic game for me and for John. And it's been a while. I you probably couldn't tell by the way that I've forgotten large swaths of it. Um so we do actually have 3 levels to go before we finish. And I know usually I'll try to do 2 per episode, but I think trying to I think it's going to be awkward trying to do this as 2 episodes. I think somebody comes out of that pipe. Oh, no, he goes down there. That's right. Oh, I see him to him. Oh. <clears throat> oh, nice. One of them had a machine gun. Just like John McClane. Ooh, whoa. Oh, that's right. You can get hit by the steam from these. Where is he shooting from? Down. Oh, wait. Right there. Duh. Yeah, so there's three levels to go, but one of them is fairly short. So I'm I'm thinking it'll be okay to mm, go back and check that way first. Do, do any of you do this? You always, like... I mean, it's especially prevalent when playing, like, RPGs. Oh, actually, yeah, we do want this way because... Yeah. Uh, eh. Stick with the machine gun for a few moments, but that gun's going to be really useful a little bit ahead. Yeah, you, when you're playing a role-playing game, you always try to go to the dead end first, because that's where, like, the treasure chest or the... Uh, uh, let's see. All right, we do have to go the other way, but that's fine. That spear gun is very, very useful uh, against a particular type of foe. But, yeah, so anyway, I keep interrupting myself. Uh, to the rest of you, you go for the dead end first, because that's, uh, that's where the treasure chest always is. You see those guys in hoods go down that lift before. Who were they? They're special ops. 
I hear they're going on a secret mission. Best not to take any notice of them. I also may or may not be fighting a cold. I'm really... I should have sniped that guy. Um, I'm really hoping it's allergies. I just got back from kind of a long trip. And, uh... Yeah, I'm hoping it's just allergies acclimating myself to... to, uh... the New England area again. And not, uh, like the onset of COVID or something. Or some other real nasty cold. Uh, you can hear the robot thudding around in the pipes. <laughs> Alright, so I, I'm sure I did my little, um previously video clip before but man, these guys are wearing a bit of armor um, in case you don't remember last time we did the Terminator uh, knockoff levels tracking down Jacob Crow uh, who had now transformed into a Doom-esque monstrosity this is actually a really cool looking level. Um, and we learned that, surprise, he was the one. Oh, here we go. The boss will be back soon, then there'll be plenty to do. I have to unpack the rest. Intruder! Wow, that guy had to... Uh, oh, crap. Oh, well. That guy had a lot to him. Well, time to start shooting. Actually, I think I'm going to need the spear gun for this next bit. Um... Already forgotten what I was saying. It was will it was probably very insightful though. Whoa, right through the old melon. Let's see. I think you can is he up top? Yeah, there we go. Oh, he took a bite out of me. I know one of those things is around here somewhere. There it is. Ah. <laughs> those things, if you try to kill them with machine guns, those things are super not fun. And I only learned that after playing through this game like six or seven times, probably. So yeah, I, I have played through this game a lot, just not uh, not recently. Hence where my uh, my forgetfulness comes from. But yeah, if you if you hear me hacking and coughing or uh, sneezing or vomiting or having a massive seizure, it's it's just because uh, it's just allergies. Oh right, I was telling the story of where where we've uh, where we've been. So yeah, we finished off the Terminator-inspired levels, where we learned that Jacob Crow was actually the one who created the time splitters. Yeah, and again, maybe time to go back to the machine gun. It's a little harder to hit the regular guys with the. Uh... Well, these guys is really packing a wall up. These like. Might have gotten. Alright, I got him. The like sailor looking guy. He's got more of an oomph than I would have expected. Whoa! That's one down. Uh, I think I got that one too. So yeah, he created the time splitters. Whoa! Uh, in an effort to advance humanity or something? It all starts to sound a, a bit mad. 
There are a few more of those steam robots around, but I can I should be able to quickly switch to the Wow, they're really uh alright. Here is where we want this fella. So long. I'm gonna pretend I'm just awesome at first person shooters, but it's up there, so that means below us? Somebody's shooting from below? I don't think so. Ah, oh, there he is. Nice, that guy went right over the edge. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume that this game has some pretty tight uh, aim assist. How dare you, sir. There he is. There we go. Uh, I'm going to leave the health there, because I might end up coming back this way, I think. I think I still hear the robot falling around. Jeez. That guy. Yeah, they don't mess around. It's the same wimpy enemy types, but uh, there are a lot of them here. See you there. I'm trying to hide. Oh, that's right. Uh, Wee! Perfect. Oops. I always forget that I can do that. Uh, let's see. They're prop. There we go. Nope. Perfect. I think there was another... Nah, that's a box. So yeah, now we have... We've destroyed the Time Splitter army, so technically... Uh, technically we have won. <laughs> the Time Splitters will not be able to destroy humanity. Um, but we also can't leave... Ooh. Get him? Sure, why not? Uh, we also can't leave. Oh boy. You can't. No, don't use the grenades. We also can't leave with an insane uh, cyborg. Ah. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There's one. Oops. There's a lot of these guys. Can't leave insane uh, cyborg time travelers to... Ah. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Okie dokie. Well, we got the double machine guns now, at least. I know there's... <laughs> anyway. Yeah, can't leave insane... Ah, there he is. Time travelers to uh, mess up human history. There we go. I know that there he is. Oh, there's two more up here, too. Hi there. Goodbye. I'm sure you're fine. There we go. As I was saying, so we're basically just on an assassination mission at this point. Uh, but if you've seen Crow in any of his cutscenes, and also his... Yeah, all right, enough of this nonsense. Okay, maybe a moment more of nonsense. I keep thinking there's there's part of the soundtrack that sounds like kind of a sound, and I keep thinking that's um, somebody teleporting in, uh, because people do that a lot in Time Splitters 2, and I had to record a bunch of... Um, I didn't have to, I suppose. This was a self-imposed uh, challenge. Who's shooting at? Oh, that fellow. 
Uh, I didn't have to, but I decided to record a bunch of Time Splitters 2 footage uh, as sort of background noise for... Almost blasted that guy for uh, the background of uh, Paul and my um, favorite games of all time this video. Alright, we have to do a lot of killing here if I'm remembering correctly. Ooh, armor. Oh. You guys. Whoa. Come on, robot. Yeah, these guys pack kind of a wallop for just being unarmored sailor looking fellows. You know, somebody's still shooting at me. Whoa. What, what is exploding over here? Everybody calm down. You know, we're all a little agitated. There's a lot of time travel, a lot of murder. You know, gets everybody a little riled up. Did you not... Don't leave him behind. Ugh. AI is, as you may have noticed, is not astounding in this game. It's not terrible. But, uh, yeah, it definitely could be better. Alright, who else we got? Everybody dead? You all dead? Great. That's two inches running. There's a health thing. Make sure there's no armor around here that I missed. I don't think there's any boss or anything in this level. I think we just need to get down to where the crystals are. side of this gets a little confusing in here. There's definitely gonna be guys in here. Now, oh, wrong way. It was the rest of the Whoa! Okie dokie, what was that? Hey, gang. Watch the uh, explosions there, champ. Guy right behind there. Ooh. There we go, perfect. Uh, this robot is getting in the way. There we go. Oof, doofa. They really don't want us going down there, I guess. Alright, hurry up and kill everybody, please. So now we should be able to ride the drill machine down, and that should, I think, get us to the end. Oh, somebody's still shooting. I can hear it. That should get us to the end of the level. Oh, here's our trunk. It's true, you know? He may be, uh, 
crazed drunken cultist, but uh, you know he appreciates the fact that uh, that nobody's perfect. That you know we all we all have our flaws, and being able to love someone and accept their flaws is is really a beautiful thing. I'm not going to kill him because I'm not disgusting travesty of a human being. I actually, I really don't like, uh, even, in, I don't like in video games when you have to, like, use violence against people who can't fight back. And I mean, I know that, oh, here's our cutscene, no more time to explore my morality. Yeah, I don't, I don't like when you have to kill non-hostile opponents. I forgot about that. Sorry about that, a brief hiccup while I dealt with some cat stuff. Um, do I have any other... Alright, just this thing. That's fine. So, in this level, this is a fairly short level. Uh, we are just trying to protect our past self from the violence. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, so... So in this <laughs> in this level, yeah, as they said, remember way back at the beginning of the game how there was some rando who was like helping us fight. Well, that turns out that rando is uh is Cortez. So we have to. Uh, <laughs> we have to protect him in this level, because if he dies, we lose, and we have to start all over again, which is pretty annoying. All right, stop. Come on, stop, stop, stop. All right, well, I took him out. On hard mode, this is absolutely brutal. But... Oh, nice. Actually, that's probably a bit more useful right now. Thankfully, on, on normal mode, uh, uh, where do I go now? Uh, oh, there we go. On normal mode, oh, did I run out? Oh, jeez. Okay. Perfect. That'll help. So yeah, this is a pretty short level, thankfully, um, but uh, the drawback is if you fail, you basically have to start all over again. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta get over there and 
can blow that thing up. Remember, again, at the beginning of the game, the, the mothership crashes, and they're like, oh, we got it. I, I don't really know how these things got spaceships if they were essentially a, uh, we'll say, let's say a domestic threat. All right. Whoa, whoa, now yeah, that stings. I'm just gonna keep pouring it on. And thankfully, this thing doesn't run out of ammo ever. Yeah, the turrets and time slitters, too, actually run out of ammo, which seems uh, a little disappointing. I mean, the fun part about turrets is that you can just go to town with them in these, yeah, in these games. Almost got it. Yeah, on hard mode, this is uh, not this particular part, but this level is is brutal because uh, the AI is not up to the task. Get rid of those last missiles. All right. Thank. I'm I'm moving. Um, and thankfully the, uh, little compass guides you where you need to go so you're not having to constant- Oh, there is a checkpoint in here. Ah, uh, this part's rough. Yeah. I get him? No. We're almost at the end. Oops. Alright, he's right there, so... Ugh. Who's shooting at me? Yeah, there's one of them. There he is. Jeez Louise. Yeah, the time sp- ah! Time slitters will uh, quite literally make a meal out of you. Ah! In uh, there's another one right here. I can tell. In the harder difficulties, ah! In the harder difficulties, these things will really tear you apart. Where is he? For God's sakes! Ah! All right, almost done. Now oh, he's got the turret. Oh, how am I supposed to do that? I don't have any. Oh, I do have that sniper rifle. Ugh. Where are they? This is not an easy fight. Now there's one. Dude, just go into the base. Let me finish the level. Where is he? It is really hard sniping invisible targets from like a mile away. They're doing a bit of damage to him. There's one. God, these things move so damn fast. There we go. Now, not a lot of ammo left. That guy ran pretty wacky. Get into the base, Cortez. Have any? Nope. Oh, is there anything I can use to fight the? No, he died. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Got it in one. Perfect, flawless uh, efficiency. Oh no! Don't you dare kill him. 
Oh boy. <laughs> okay, that was tougher than I remember it being. But we'll we'll edit that down so it looks like a flawless no hit uh, victory. Think. I could tell him about Crow and the time crystals. The island. I could stop this whole thing. No, Cortez, we're too close. <sighs> I know. Okay, Anya, get me out of here. The miseries of time travel. Yeah, in hard mode, this is brutal. It's really brutal. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, this is it. Last level. Going for it. I have challenged everything. Nice picture. Okay, no more distractions. <laughs> Find the crystals. Take all my good guns away. There's Crow's time machine. The crystals must be nearby. Using unrefined crystal with Crow's time machine should cause a chain reaction leading to a massive explosion. That should destroy the whole base and possibly the island above as well. Oops. Up there! Improver! Let's see. Ah, oh no! My precious body. Alright, somebody dropped a machine gun, so. Get in front of this guy. Uh, actually, I think this is the last boss area. I'm trying to remember how this actually plays out. He's not super easy, but I, I don't remember really struggling. But then again, yeah, exactly. Wow, that guy had a lot of... Uh, Keep commenting about how those guys have a lot of oomph to them. Yeah, I, th I think this is the last boss arena. Oh boy. It seems a crude design. According to my analysis, if you were to introduce raw, unrefined crystal into the machine, it could go. cause a chain reaction. That would destroy the crystal and the time machine. That's your best shot, Cortez. Go find the raw crystal and bring it back here. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, he's stuck in the wall. Nice. Oh, that's fun. Nice, uh, got slaughtered by a glitch. Minor guys are real tough. Need those double machine guns again. Where are those? It is. The unrefined crystal. It must have been part of a meteor, right? Take the crystal back to the time machine. Yeah, and the. Hardly believe it. <coughs> After all we've been through, it's finally going to end. In the earlier games, the time splitters are most definitely aliens, but whatever. Oh, no. oh there he is. We gotta take this guy out again. He's become so powerful. Yeah, this part's he's he's not not super easy, unfortunately. I think we have to get him from behind, is that right. I think we can use these rockets to deal some damage. Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's kind of... Oh, he glitched out. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. That was just his... Uh... Right, that's what we are trying to do. We have to destroy his feet so that he um, will stun him. Whoa, what the hell just happened? Oh no! I only wanted to be loved. Damn it! I'm a robot. What to do to kill this guy? No idea, Cortez. Sorry. <laughs> Too bad, because I could really use a hand with this guy. Well, well. Wonder how that's gonna work. I think I 
this sort of thing. No, but you are. What? <laughs> Remember all those wormholes? Yeah. Well, what if I sent you back in time to before Crow arrives? We could create a time loop that would allow you to effectively double team Crow. But I thought you said it was dangerous. <laughs> it is. But I'm out of ideas, Cortez. It's up to you. <laughs> Looks like your time is up. You didn't really think you could defeat me all by yourself, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, prepare to die. Maybe later. All right, nice work on you. Now to find myself. Ah, here I am. What are you doing here? I'm here to give you a hand with Crow. Crow? But Crow's not here. <laughs> we gotta stop me like this. Alright. Did we get him? Can I hit him now? Ah, oh, I'm out of ammo. Alright, hold on. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, there's lots of ammo around. Oh, he does regenerate, though. Come on, other me. Get yourself together. Does start to regenerate though. Oh, for God's sakes. All right, how much more ammo we got? Uh -oh. oh, he's focused on me. That's bad. All right, I think we got him this time. There we go. All right, we did it. Uh, I don't think there's a second phase. I think that was it. I think we did it, everybody. I think it's a victory dance now. Set all levels to maximum. Well, it stinks to be anybody else who's still in this place. How would they hear that? Oh. Ah, oh, not the robot. <laughs> Look.
Let's let this moment soak in. Whoa! You're my hero. I know. It's what I do. Yay! We did it. We did it, everyone. We finished Time Splitters Future Perfect. Sadly, the the last in the Time Splitters series. <laughs> And as with all of the best games, it ends with a giant dance party, although it's just Cortez this time. But I mean, I guess if you just saved essentially all of reality, like all past and future human beings, like who who would you be, who would you dance with? I mean, it's got to just be you. Um, <laughs> the scene where he's dancing is one of the multiplayer stages of weird disco, uh, I would assume uh, inspired by Harry Tipper. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me, as, as always. Now this is my, what, fourth, fourth Let's Play? I think fourth, fifth, something like that. Um, as always, I, I hope you've had a fun time and have gotten to uh, appreciate one of, one of my favorite games, and it's something of a, a forgotten classic, I feel like. Um, yeah, there's, we didn't really talk a lot about what ended up happening with the Time Splitters series and the much, much longed for, but never to be realized, Time Splitters 4. Um, I think THQ Nordic or something owns uh, the rights now. They bought them recently. Somebody bought them recently. Uh, I think it was THQ, which that, that seems like a reasonable place for Time Splitters to live for the time being. Um, but yeah, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I hope you've gotten to have, as I always say with these Let's Plays, a fun, kind of relaxed time. Um, and maybe this will inspire you to go out and play some of the other Time Splitters games. You can, you can probably kind of skip the first one, but, uh, but two and three are great. They're a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, Future Perfect is my, my favorite, but two is also a very solid game. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna take a week or two off before starting my next let's play. I've got a few ideas in mind that I need to kind of suss out, um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get it together quickly enough. I want to do some uh, equipment tests with something, and if those don't work, then I will move things in a slightly different direction. But yeah, so yeah, hopefully you've had fun. Hopefully you've learned something about... God, cats are fighting. All right, well, on that note, again, thank you for joining me. I've been Mike from Team Brothership, and uh, yeah, we'll see, you. we'll see you at the next Let's Play. Have a great week, everybody.